all that. Here's another thing that you'd have to do. Anytime you have baseboard inside a bathroom, like here, this is called four inch rubber base it's with toe. See that little toe at the bottom? It kind of lifts out. That's called four inch rubber base with toe. Let's get you in there a little bit closer and tell you what that toe is. See? See that little bit of reveal that goes over the tile? That's called with toe. You can get that without toe for carpet sometimes, but that, you know, most people even put the toe with carpet because it's easier to vacuum. Well, in any case, in here you have, this has to be six inches tall. They do make a six inch rubber base, you know? So in here you'd have to take that off, put rubber base. Now here's another thing. Remember I was talking about grab bars, grab bar backing. You also have, have to have grab bars on the wall and you can't just screw it into sheetrock. It's got to be screwed into the wall. The inspectors come here and they're, they're forcing themselves on here to see if it's going to loose, loosen up or anything because you get a lot of force here. If you're sitting on here and you're grabbing up on that, pushing yourself up or lifting yourself down or whatever, they want to make sure that those don't get loose. So in a case like this, you have to cut the sheetrock out because chances are You've only got studs every 16 inches or whatever. Chances are there's no plywood behind here so that you can screw the grab bar wherever. You can check that first. And then what I would do here is I would cut out for where the grab bars are going to be. And incidentally, on the grab bars, I happen to know a little bit more information about these grab bars. You take the front edge of the toilet, which is the elongated toilet. Has, the grab bar has to extend out this way at least two feet. Beyond that, what I do, and then it has to come back far enough. I think the minimum grab bar length there is 42 inches, but if you have a long enough area, you can go 40, 48 inches if you want. They sell grab bars four feet long, 42 inches, 36 inches, 32 inches, 30 inches, whatever. But on the side, you know that one's got to be a minimum 42 inches. So, so you'd measure two feet out in front of there. No, okay, that's where I need grab bar back in and measure from there back 42 inches or 48 inches. Put grab bar back in there, you can cut the sheetrock out, put a two by six flat in there, put the same piece of sheetrock back in there. You can tape it, let's say, and that's it. And then when you put your finished paneling over here, your FRP or your Marlite paneling, that's gonna cover all that, right? Do the same thing on this back wall. The minimum on the back wall is 36 inches. Yes, I believe it's 36 inches. You do the same thing and then you can, you can split the difference. Find out if it's 36, it could be 32 inch minimum. I'm not quite sure. Now I have not done a handicapped bathroom in years, but I wanted to show you some certain things that you will know up front and be aware of before you start thinking you're gonna spend some money and upgrade your, your commercial bathroom or your church bathroom or whatever to a handicapped accessible bathroom, even, even in a residence. If you want to know where your grab bars go, maybe you don't want to pull, pull everything off. Well, that's okay. You know, if you're just doing that for yourself, and if you can't, if you don't want to pull the wall all apart and patch it and tape top texture, prime it, paint it, because you're not going to put any paneling up here, let's say, you can get a grab bar that, that has um, little attachments on the back that um, you can attach to the sheetrock. That's a separate type of of grab bar, you don't just screw it right into the sheetrock. It's got actual backing there uh, with little sheetrock connectors and all that kind of stuff. So take a look at that at your, at your local hardware store. Most of the time they'll have grab bars. And what is the height of the grab bar? Last time I checked, it was between 33 and 34 inches to the center of the grab bar. Okay, I used to make mine about, you know, a little bit over 33 inches, you know, maybe 30. 33 and a quarter or so, but it, if you feel more comfortable with 34 inches, know that you can get it by between 33 and 34 inches on the wall, okay? You also have to have a washable surface on your floor. And, you know, this one happens to have VCT, Vinyl Composition Tile, Composite Tile, VCT Flooring. They will accept that in most areas. They will accept that as a washable surface, even though that you have joints on the floor, okay? You have to use a commercial linoleum. Well, a commercial linoleum lasts longer. It, uh, it's more difficult to install, depending. It, most of those come only five foot wide, so if your bathroom's further, you know you're gonna have to have a seam in it somewhere, and all that kind of good stuff, okay? So there's just a few tips for who? 
for you. That's who. Now, if you don't know all the requirements, go to your local building department, ask them for an ADA accessible handicap drawing, tell them what you got, maybe take them a picture or something, and they'll help you kind of decide what you're up against, the, the measurements, the, and anything you happen to have questions about. If you don't know all about this, at least get your ADA compliant sheets, talk to the building department a little bit, and then go home, do a little bit of homework, measure some stuff. If you have to, contact uh, the inspector who you talk to, get their building, um, their, their business card, talk to them over the phone or go back, show them a little drawing of what you have going on and they'll help you further, okay? Hey, choices, all about choices and that's what this video is all about. Yeah, I'm just talking to you about the handicapped bathroom on the fly. This may not be all of the 100% requirements, but it gives you a good idea of what you're going to be up against if you want to change your bathroom into a handicapped bathroom. Okay? Good luck. Well, that's all I got for this time, but I'll be back with more videos.